Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I appreciate you all very much and we'll continue to continue here. I love reading. I've been doing this so long, 32 years. I can't imagine, I mean, anything is, doing anything that long is a long time. So anyway, I still love it. it brings me great joy. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days, watch a new reading. It happens sometimes. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So earlier this week, I posted a four-month predictions reading, which is a lot of fun. I don't do those often. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. But I also post love readings on Mondays and more detailed Celtic cross style readings on Mondays. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. Okay, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concern with Virgo? All right, we'll start with the tarot and then we'll get the angel answers involved. You've got the Eight of Wands, the Fool, Temperance, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be thriving in change, whoever this is. This is a robust energy, especially when you start to see this together. It indicates a big transition, but again, it, it's like you're going to be easy about it. You're going to go with the flow on it, and things are all going to come together. Major Arcana mark major life events. They're generally very positive. Occasionally, if we get the tower surrounded by negative cards, that could be a challenge. But in this case, you've got the Archangel Michael here. You've got the Fool, which, which represents your soul. And it's a reminder when you see the Fool that your soul is always victorious. These are cards of victory, of, like I said, just thriving and change. So you have it here too, by the way. With this Eight of Wands, you've got Brace for Change. But again, I'd open my arms wide to that. Now, it may be a change in money for some of you. You've got wish fulfillment here. You have Sagittarius showing up, fire, water, and earth here. So with the Eight of Wands, in terms of a relationship, you've got the happy family card, but you've got somebody here that wants to move forward. If it's been, there's a, there's a change of perspective with that hangman too. So if it's been something where you weren't sure what was going to happen, or maybe you met the person, it just didn't take off. If there's a second encounter with this person, I definitely see there's been a difference for them. It might have been a financial deal, like they were changing jobs or finishing something, like a big project, and they just were very committed. I guess what I like about that is I do feel like this person can keep a commitment, and that's that was part of the delay. Um, so I'd go with it, because this is like moving forward. It's an energy of unity vibration, your inflow, you get what you are. And this is expansion and growth. So anything you attract in something like the Eight of Wands is definitely a positive energy for you. I love the Fool. It really is that brand new, fresh, clean slate. You're full of enthusiasm in a relationship. It's jumping in with both feet. There's no hesitation here. I also feel like too, in a new relationship, there's a genuine curiosity about each other. And you know, the beginning of a relationship should be fun. There's nothing more than a, a kiss of death when I see two people bickering, the bicker sins, and they've just started dating. It's like, eh, exit. You know, that's not going to work if that's how this is. But this is really positive and fun. You know who you are in this energy. And I do feel like you've learned a lot from your past. You don't live there. You're not looking in the rear view mirror trying to drive forward. You're going straight ahead with this. And in terms of a job, too, for somebody here, you've got a nice increase in money, but I still feel like you're going to be aware of money. You're not going to just go out like a crazy person with that four of pentacles. And I like that because if you have a pattern of you get more money and then you start to spend more and then you go, oh my God, what's all this junk I just wasted this on? You know, that kind of thing is going to be done for you for whoever that is. And also too, buying things that you don't wear, whoever's got the tags on a bunch of stuff in a closet. And I just almost get like a pit in my stomach, like somebody 
goes through that and it almost makes you sick to your stomach. So you've got a carefree energy, but with that Four of Pentacles, it is going to bring in some responsibility to this so that it's not just kind of folly and, you know, moving forward with no regard for the future. You With the Temperance card, it's an energy of bringing people together. It's support. It's like I said, it's wear the world like a loose fitting garment. You're going to be very easy going in this. And that's how you thrive and change when you start to see this show up. So with the Temperance card, you do have that sunrise too in the back, but it's a card that keeps you connected to your source. So meditate, ask, go outside, go anywhere. I don't care if it's outside. Talk to the universe. Your voice has a vibrational quality. And when I see that ace of, excuse me, eight of wands, I feel like that's important. You know, know that you have this essence to your voice and the universe communicates through vibration. So speak it, but speak it like it's already here. It's already yours. You're already in the great relationship. You've got the job. You've got the money coming in. Somebody here too, I do feel like you're going to be making some improvements to where you live. And it's going to be great. You know, this is an energy too. When you let go and let the universe, you let it go and let it flow, manifesting becomes easy. And so with the Queen of Pentacles here, you have kind of a fastidious nature anyway. It's you and your own energy. So I feel like you're going to be looking good, feeling great kind of perfectionistic on some things, so don't be too hard on yourself, especially those of you that have acquired some things that you're going, oh, Jesus, how did I do this again? I do feel like you're going to change that habit, and that might not be a lot of you on here, but it is somebody here because it's very clearly coming through. This, to me, is like the Susie Orman of the tarot. You start to become very shrewd with money here, and it's going to be something that goes over time. It's going to give you stability over time. Now, I also want to say, too, whoever you're attracting, Maybe someone who's very generous as well. And they might be somebody who has a lot of great ideas. They're easy to talk to. They're easy going. And like I said, they can keep a commitment. There's no doubt about that. This is an energy that brings in balance though. So if, if your person was struggling a little bit to finish what they were doing and then be in a relationship at the same time, I feel like this will be much more balanced so that they can have it all if you're concerned about that. Well, the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, how about the Ten of Cups? The you know, there's It's the rainbow after a storm. It's what you wanted. It's celebration. So with this, too, I do feel like you're going to have nice aspects for getting together with people, especially, too, I hear the word cousin. So if you, have a, if you have a cousin you haven't talked to in a while or haven't seen in a while, this may indicate an opportunity where you are going to get brought back together. But for others of you, too, it's just overall harmony, having a relationship that works, being in a job where you're making money, but you have a nice, harmonious energy around you. There's no strife in this, guys. So if you've had something in the past where it was difficult or challenging at work, I see this as the rainbow. You stuck it out. The rainbow after that challenging period. There's not a cloud in the sky in this card. So with the Seven of Cups here, the Seven of Cups is a card. Sevens are success and victory. But this one, you've got some decisions to make. Again, with that temperance energy here, you're going to need to be in that place of alignment, feeling good, doing things that bring joy to your heart, knowing that you're in this journey to have all these experiences. That's why you're here. So I do feel like with this, you do have positive choices coming in and not to get too caught up in the momentum of that eight of wands. So that way you get a good look at what you're doing here. Now, I do feel like you have a relationship that comes in. And if you have a bit of hesitation, it is related to whatever the holdup was in the past. Or if it's been, if it is a relationship in the past that was, was the partner that couldn't be balanced and this is a new person, I feel like as you move forward, you've got balance. Well, the fours are measurement and order. Here you go, the four legs of the table, right? So this is getting order to your finances, to your home. And I do get that with the queen of pentacles too. I think I've used the word fastidious. It's like you're going to have this compulsion almost to have everything very neat and orderly. That's you anyway, so why not, right? Um, but with this too, if you're a professional organizer or you're thinking about becoming one, go for it because I feel like you'd have a real facility. Whoever sees this card and isn't scared off by it, that's you. I do feel like, in, you know, in terms of the professional organizer, that's you, I mean. But I do feel like with this, it just brings in balance. And I like the anchoring energy with the fool so you don't get too far off. Because you can get into, I'll keep this brief, but you can get into too much of a 
an aspect of a card. And with the fool, it would almost be like mania if you had too much of that energy. So the cards all communicate with one another. So with the hangman, again, you've got this beautiful illumination of the crown. We love to see that because your perspective is wide open. And with the fool too, the numbers 4, 12, 13, 21, those can all be important. So it can even be weeks of time. It doesn't have to be the actual day of the um, month for that. But I, I want to tell you with this, this easygoing energy, you've got a real creative side coming in with this. So if you're into writing or any kind of music, anything like that, but overall with this, I do feel like it is about that reversal of viewpoint. It's surrender to win. And so when you just let things go and let them flow, you're going to find that a lot of opportunities, new people come into your life and you've got this easygoing energy. So even though you might be particular with your home, they are trying to tell you to be easygoing with other people around you. So we don't necessarily want to tell somebody else what they should do with their home, right? And this, it's, it's kind of that balance. You've got a really kind of cool, balanced energy. I think you're going to enjoy a lot, Virgo. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? So you have here, look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are communications. Improving health. So again, mind, body, spirit connection. We've got forgiveness. So if there's something from the past, again, like we talked about a relationship, maybe where it was out of balance, it's all about letting it go because we get what we judge also. So when we don't want something and we're judging it, we can draw that in within the next few months, they say. And they give you a yes because good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.